Hey YouTube, what's up? My name is Grenade, and Modern Warfare 3 is finally here. After many months of anticipation, finally we get to play it. Um, I took the day off of school today just to, you know, stay home and play the game. Try and upload, learn as much about it as I can, maybe level up a little bit. But, uh, I'm not sure on the name of this map, I'm sorry. I know like a month after this game's out and I'm still doing commentaries and I go back and watch this and be like, my dumbass this map's called like ass crack or something I don't know but um sorry I don't know the name of the map I learned that spot at the beginning where you jump up on the bench that's a really good spot um I always go there whenever I start a map a match on whatever this map is called um but anyway um Modern for 3 my first impressions for this game was like I got on it and saw the UMP with rapid fire was back and I'm like, oh boy, I'm gonna go ham with this. So I pulled that out, and probably my first game, I dropped like a 23 and 6. Um, I'm looking through the theater mode right now to see if I can find it. If I can find it, I will definitely upload it right after this, if not before it. Um, but so my first impressions was, well, my first game I went like 23 and 6. This game's way too easy. This is just gonna be a massacre. But as the night progressed, um, I found out that I couldn't really use the UMP on every map because certain maps were more like spread out and didn't have as much close quarters. Most of the maps here are pretty compact and you can run a UMP in most of them, but I was not finding success with it except for my first match. So I dropped that gun and picked up my M4 and that's what I'm using in this gameplay. That's what I'm still using now. It's one of my favorite guns. Just because it doesn't have the best stopping power, but I like it. I find the recoil is easy to control. Um, many people use the Scar L, like in that kill cam. I like the Scar, but I don't know. There's just something. I can't put my finger on it, but I don't really like it enough to use it over my, the M4. I use the M4 in every Call of Duty. That's always been like my go-to gun. It's never really let me down. So, you know, that's what I'm using, that's what I'm going to use in Modern for 3, and, you know, it's working for me, I'm finding success with it, so, why not you know, use what I have success with, and, right here, I give these kids a shit stain, like, oh, shit stain, oh, shit stain, oh, where'd you go, shit stain, enough, enough, jigglypuff, anyway, but, M16, that's what I want to talk a little bit about, I was watching one of T-Mart's videos, that he uploaded in probably, I want to say, October, September. He was talking a little bit about the M16 at COD XP. He said it has insane stopping power. And so right when he said that, when I watched that a couple of days ago, actually, before the game came out, I'm like, yep, M16 is what I'm going to use in this game. And I saw it wasn't on a default class when I got the game, so I'm like, shit, I'm going to have to unlock a... Um, create a class and then use it because it wasn't like a default class gun so but then he started talking a little bit about how it was still a three shot burst but the time in between the burst was longer so it'd be like burst 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 so in past cods it's been like burst 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 fast enough that you know you could win some gunfights so I thought that I could pretty much deal with it and, you know, just kind of keep my distance back on the maps. So, just stick to those long-range gunfights that I'd win 90% of the time. Because, you know, I had an M16, and anyone that's played a past Call of Duty knows that M16s are long-range guns and extremely hard to beat. Unless the other person has a sniper or, like, a G11 if you're playing Black Ops. So, I pulled that gun out, played around with it a little bit, and I failed miserably. I knew exactly what Team Art was talking about. I knew exactly that the M16 was not the gun for me. I knew that the rate of fire, like the time in between bursts, was really slow and it'd be hard to even win long range gunfights because of its slow fire rate. Now, you could be really good with it. Like, I'm not saying that because of its slow, right, slow fire rate that automatically means you can get anything above like three kills with it. I'm not saying that at all. It just didn't suit my play style. Now my play style is I've normally been more of a kind of aggressive player. 
kind of like I am in this gameplay. I'm not really sitting in one spot the whole game. Like, I will rush to a spot and kind of stay in that general area and maybe pick up all the kills I can then run to another spot. So I guess I'm running from camping spot to camping spot and that's exactly why I don't use a scar because holy hit marker. And I and, and I'm just bad with it anyway. But like I said, I'm running spot to spot, so M16 wouldn't really be the you know most ideal choice. But with the machine pistols, they have a secondaries. I'm not sure which the the one I use is, but it's the one where I don't even know what it is. I'm a total noob on this. But um, the machine pistols really help out a lot with the M16 because you could, you know, as you're running from spot to spot, you could pull that out. And if you um, ran into one to anyone on the way, you could just, you know, pop them, show them who's boss. And then, you know, no problem. You you got that. And then go to your spot, pull out your M16, and pop a few more people. But I can't do that. I tried it. Failed miserably. I'm not the best Call of Duty player at all. I'm a noob. You know, I need automatic guns. And so, then I found the M4. It worked for me. It's what I liked. Um, and about the new gameplay, Kill Confirm, my take on that. I played it. It's impossible to snipe in it. Because if you snipe, you have to be like a mobile sniper. You have to do like Optic Predator running around, quick scoping every single person. And picking up their dog tag. Because chances are, if you look at the radar when you're, like, on your team, you'll see that people, your teammates are in the general area of the map as your other teammates. So, you're pretty much always by your teammates. And so, if you were to kill someone on their team, it's probably the same thing. Their teammates are probably pretty close around. So, by the time you got their dog tag, you're either dead or they've already picked up their dog tag. And so that normally makes the games harder to win and like I'll finish a game with 30ish kills like but with 15 dog tag pickups. I find dog tags to pick up dog tags pretty hard just because of the fact that you know if teammates pretty close by and but that goes same for my team, you know, we can deny a bunch of kills, get a bunch of kills. Not so get a much kill, bunch of kills, but if you pretty much advance as a team or have like designated people to be snipers, then people snipe and then have people like extreme conditioning going and picking up the flags and you know working their way around. If certain people, you know, designated flag pick up picker uppers, just you can pretty much win that game type pretty easily that way. But if you can't, it if you're if everyone on your team sniping, like if all of Optic went into a lobby with each other. You'd be pretty much screwed because no one would be picking up the dog tags or flags or whatever they are. Um, I think I've been calling them flags this whole commentary, but you guys know what I meant. Um, but anyway, as Mono for Three comes out, I'm gonna be posting more gameplays and tips. Like I said, that um, spot at the beginning where you jump up on that little bench is huge. You can just get there. It's a nice little hide glitch. Um, I go there a lot. Every match I play on this one, I go there. So feel free to use that tip. More videos will be uploaded about grenade spots. Like I said, grenades, grenade spots. It's really gay. But, you know, I'm going to do it. My series. Um, maybe Black Ops. Oh, shit. Why do I keep saying Black Ops? Or Mod Modern Warfare 3 School. If that sounds like a good idea or that's totally queer. But I uploaded a Modern Warfare 2 random class generator about a month ago. No, about two weeks ago and it was un as unlisted for a while and I recently made it public because it was supposed to be uploaded to a cinema but they never uploaded it so feel free to go back and watch that that's like in the middle of my upload somewhere um I'm gonna be uploading to a bunch of other cinemas not really cinemas but like director channels like True Team Tactics I've uploaded a couple there if you found me from that um channel I'm gonna upload more stuff there so, you know, guys, stay subscribed, stay active. i am be uploading a lot since Modern for 3 is out. I've got a lot of good gameplays. I've been playing with some subscribers recently. If you haven't added me on Xbox Live, um, add me. My gamer tag is exactly how my channel is spelled. Add me on that. I won't be adding people on my second account just because that's kind of like my getaway. You know, no one really adds me, but we win by one point. Final score is like 35 and 6. Um... 
you can't sh see the scoreboard in theater mode. But, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Stay postponed. More videos will be uploading soon. Peace.